Let's get ready to rumble! He's taken another one, and another, and Howard Foster has stopped it! Wow! That is going to be controversial! I'll just test that whole well. <laughs> So, good performance. As we know, November the 4th, Monaco, you're invited. Make sure you bring him up there. And a uh, big fight for Jamie McDonnell. He was there tonight. We accepted the fight to fight Paul Butler previously. Waited about six months, as we all did. But uh, hopefully, he beats the Boreal Solis and we get that fight made next. For me, he's boxing November the 4th, so I see that fight happening in March. It's just a case of getting Paul out. You know, all those done 12 rounds, unmarked, and look okay. It's just a case of whether we get him out in the meantime, but I think first things first, we see what happens on November 4th. Just you, Paul, I mean, there has been some talk from McDonald's camp that he may move up, but is your message to him not to go running from this fight? Not so much go running. I'd, I'd like, to, like him to stay around. The fight's been talked about for a long time. Um, hopefully he'll come through Solis. I think he will. I think Solis peaked last time. I thought he had a very bad Jamie. Um, I think Jamie will come through this one, and hopefully we can get it on. If McDonald doesn't come up early, what's the chances of Bernard? Well, I think there's a couple of things. I mean, if, if McDonald doesn't win, then the Borio Solis Cup becomes quite a big fight at the Echo. Um, if McDonald does win and move up, and honestly that hasn't been talked about internally, then you've got the potential of a vacant title. More importantly, you've got the winner of Burnett against Zaki Arnold, which is, you know, could be for two belts. So either way, you know, one's a WBA regular, one's a WBA super belt, one's acting in what, three weeks, and one's happening in five weeks. Yeah. So, and got a lot too long to wait to see what's happening in the landscape. But other than that, you've also got a WBC title as well with Yannick Yeah. you know, which is all up in there at the moment. So, plenty of options, great time in the division. And, you know, he's there or thereabouts, I think. You know, maybe Joe would want him to have one more fight before a Burnett, Zaki Arnold, or a Yaman, you know, that, those kind of style fights. But he can do that, no problem, we can get him out again. Um, but I think, you know, if it's a maximum of one more fight before he fights for the world title, but it could be next. What's the chances of that being on the on the value card, George? Yeah, I mean that's obviously you know we want to bring as many scousers or or Merseyside uh, to the to the party as possible for that fight. So Rocky Fielding won tonight. He's another possibility for that card. It's twelve weeks tonight, I think. Yeah, thir twelve or thirteen weeks tonight, which is about perfect for Paul. Can have a couple of weeks off and then get back into camp. So. It's just a case really of looking at those fights in three weeks and five weeks and seeing when we make those fights and what sort of fight you want in December. Because if you're nailed on for a world title fight, you know, is it a tick over? Is it, you know, he's had quite a lot of tick overs. And I don't think eight rounds is a particularly beneficial, to be honest with you. I think we either go and defend this title, you know, or, or look for something else. But I think three weeks we know about Burnett and Zaki and five weeks we know about McDonald's at least. You made that look easy tonight. Did you yeah. expect it to, to be that easy? No, I mean, I think that Stuart Hall was very, very tough. Uh, I thought the game plan um, for once from Joe Gallagher was spot on. Uh, that's a joke. No. But no, seriously, I thought, I thought you know, everything was, was perfect with the performance. You know, Stuart Hall was very, very tough. Probably nicked the last sort of two rounds, maybe, or maybe only one round earlier in the fight. So I guess 118, 110s about right and you know to beat quite a lot like Stuart Hall. Now you saw Lee Haskins really have a life and death with Stuart Hall in his last fight. So, you know, showing the level that, that Paul's at and plenty left in the in the tank. I thought his fitness was incredible. Wasn't blowing at all. And you know when you look at him he looks fresh as a daisy. So my my thoughts are to try and get him out sooner rather than later. What was your just before what was your favourite performance tonight? Well, I think technically, probably Paul's performance, I think, from an explosive point of view, O'Hara Davis was devastating, and I thought Tom Farrell was extremely brave. I thought his corner should have pulled him out a little bit earlier, it seemed to be the general consensus, but easier said than done sometimes. And I thought Rocky Fielding really produced a performance from nowhere. And I don't think Rocky gets the respect, really. I mean, he got, he got you know, heavily beaten by Callum Smith, but he's come back well from there, you know, and he's... He doesn't really turn down fights, Rocky, and he beats everyone that's put in front of him. So I'd like to see him step up to European level, maybe to Zoya. Now, I uh, thought Masha Dodd is brilliant, so underrated, and keeps beating people that's put in front of him. I mean, I don't know how the journey started, and I don't know where it ends. But, you know, I think I'm glad that he found boxing because his story is excellent. Um, but everyone's at different levels. You know, you've got Paul, who's ready to change for the world title. 
You've got Masher who's probably ready to change with a British title. Yeah. You've got O'Hara who's sort of bounced back. You've got Anthony Fowler who's a really strong performance line. Natasha Jonas, probably only three or four fights away from fighting for a world title herself. So, you know, loads of action and, uh, you know, people at various different stages of their career ready to change for world titles, you know, in the early stages of their career looking to change for British, Europeans, etc. Well, I want to wait to have like a clear plan though. Like Eddie's just been talking about like fighting McDonald and um, options. I can only last like six, seven months, a bit of a stop start for you and fights falling through. <coughs> it's good. Um, I haven't had that since since the Tay since the Tay loss. Um, we all looking fine. It's just been eight rounds, and ten rounds, and ten rounds, and eight rounds, and we've not been you know where we're going. Um, obviously, since we joined the match with Sky, I've been told what I'm doing, where I'm going. Uh, win this should be there, win that should be there. Um, so there's, all, there's light at the end of the tunnel and gives you something to drive towards. I think when you're at Paul's level, the eight and ten round is it's like, and then you end up having a bad performance or, or just an average performance and it actually yeah. defeats the object because it lowers your stock and that's really not the objective. Everyone will watch that tonight and say, very good performance, he's ready for a world title. Don't really want to see him in anyth anything else. If we have to wait till March, we want a box in the meantime, but really, the public want to see him fight for a world title. He's, he's just beaten Stuart Hall comfortably, so that's the obvious next step. Oh, how would you feel in that compared to the first fight over Stuart in match with? Very comfortable. Um, I knew we'd bring a lot more pressure this time, but 